Uh, did you guys see the story? I missed out on the uh, who did I marry story, but I'm not missing out on this one. This uh, this lady on TikTok. She thought her house was haunted. As like a joke. And she was checking around in her backyard. And she found a carpet. And so they called the cops and they started digging. And we have good reason to believe that there are dead bodies in her yard wrapped in carpet. <laughs> Lurker here, some parts of Florida are worse than others, but we got dumb humidity and heat. It's like breathing underwater. Mold becomes pretty common depending on these conditions. Man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I feel like when I was living in Florida, the AC was always on. It was always like fucking 65 degrees. And so I was still confused, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, when mom finds the poop burrito, dude, can we leave? Can we leave poop sock in 2020 or whenever the fuck it was invented? Can we please <laughs> leave it? I've always hated poop sock. I hate that chat uses poop sock to torment streamers. I want poop sock to die and I want every reference to poop sock to die. We all agreed that the, the, what was it? The, do you know the way meme wasn't funny. Like normies found it funny for like five seconds and then the, everybody else moved on. And everybody else was like, no, 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 this is not funny. This is cringe. Same thing with Hawk Tua. Normies found it funny. Nobody else found it funny. And then we moved on. Poop sock feels that way to me. It's objectively funny though. Sorry. Anyways, let's get to this story. Okay. Okay. I am so sorry to have left you hanging all day, all night, but, um, my whole house is now caution taped off. If you were not watching the live, both dogs sat on the hole so that the dogs run separately um, so the first dog came out and the dog sat and audible gasp absolute fucking shock I thought that this was the end of everything today and the second dog comes out sniffs around and sat I will like splice a video wait 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 I feel like we're missing the very beginning I think it's, I think this is the very beginning of the story. Wait, 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 wait. They're sending someone here. Okay, I finally did it. I called the police. They're sending someone here. I called and I said, hey, I don't know if this matters, but there is a rug buried underground at my house, a few feet under, and a few people I know, you guys, and actually two police officers who I know who are not actually in this county, but other counties have suggested I call you. And she told me she's going to send a police officer over here. So TBD. I don't know what happens next. Okay, I finally did it. I called the police. They're sending someone here. I called and I said, hey, I don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> she was digging in her yard to put a fence in or something. Okay. So I'm sitting outside with my friends who were actually the ones that were here for the dig party and trying to like decompress from everything that's happened. My anxiety is so high and um, I cried on TikTok live with a hundred thousand people and I'm going to insert here the video of the dogs marking. Um, it was already on live and that's why I'm basically going to share everything that is already out there in the world. Um, and then anything that happened essentially after the police told me to turn off the camera will remain in the hands of the law. Um, they will be here tomorrow to dig. Um, and yeah, but here is the video of the dogs hitting. <laughs> Adding some manure to the fertilizer. <laughs> oh my 
God. Oh my God. So that is the dogs hitting, both dogs hitting on the hole. And basically from there, everything went to fucking shit. I was terrified, losing my mind. I started to cry. I asked the, the cops if I need a lawyer. They are very aware that I'm the one who called and they have no concerns that it was me. So if there's anyone sitting here thinking, I did this, I certainly did not. Um, and tomorrow, crime scene investigators will be here digging. And they said that there's still a chance that this rug it just could have blood on it. It doesn't necessarily mean there is a body in my backyard. This could be someone got a bloody nose. Um, it could be anything. So, but this is where we're at. I'm still in shock and yeah, this is where we're at. Straight up, not gonna lie. What am I watching? Um, variety content. We're having an intermission really quickly. Uh, I I like to get into some mishaps and get into a little bit of fun. And I also don't like calling the cops. Um, even though I'm ethnically ambiguous enough and a woman enough for the cops to not mistreat me and like immediately shoot me. I just, I don't like cops. And I personally would enjoy digging myself and seeing what's down there for myself. Cause like, aren't, I mean, I feel like I would be curious why, what, you know, like this carpet is buried, right? So I feel like the first thing I would do I would call a lawyer and I'd be like, hey man, is there plausible deniability on my part if I'm just doing this for the love of the game? Like, if I end up finding a corpse, do I have enough plausible de deniability to be like, oh, well, I don't know. Well, I wanted the carpet. Would that be cool? And then I would go based on what the lawyer said and then I'd be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> And then you find a body and you're like, hey, uh, so I did find a body. <laughs> Could I just cover it up or do I have to call the cops now? <laughs> Legally speaking. I have to call them? Okay. All right. <laughs> Personally, I mean, how often do you stumble upon a mystery in your own home? Like, what's going to be in the dirt? A fucking zombie? Come on. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what's going to be in there? I'm I, fucking something that's not alive. I'm down. The only thing that's alive in there is like worms, right? Anyways, uh, there's people giving live updates to this shit. One sec. So after that, they started to... They started to dig, which is what we started watching. And there's nine police officers and CSI in the backyard. They, I'll show you, they've blocked how far I'm allowed to even go. It would be considered tampering with a crime scene at best. Yeah. And the Pharaoh's curse. In now. So they put this up outside so that I cannot get any further. Um, they've got a tent and a bunch of people bringing in a bunch of stuff. They're all so bald. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you either become Northern Small Lion or you become a cop. <laughs> There's only two paths for bald men. And now CSI is bringing the shovels out. I can't go any further from than here. And I can see. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry that this is delayed, but I don't know what's going on, but they did just stop digging. There's like 10 <laughs> of them, and they're just kind of all standing around. Like, I don't know if they're thinking about next steps. I don't they're know. They're like, it's lunch break time. What's happening? 
they're all just kind of standing around. The digging has paused. Um, a guy with a suit has now come over. I don't want to show too much again, just in case, like, we don't know what's happening yet. But, um... Wait, what are the two paths? Cop and what? Northern Lion. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at. They're just kind of looking in the hole. Because and... <laughs> there's nobody! Yeah. Can you imagine dealing with all this inconvenience just to find out that there's no fucking dead body in your yard? Hey. In October? <sighs> this is posted nine minutes ago. This is just ha this just happened. What's happening? Are you have you been under a rock? Am I okay? I've never been more okay. I just <laughs> I've not been living because <laughs> there's nobody Unbelievable dude. Unbelievable. White women, am I right? Am I right or what, man? Am I right or what, dude? I'm happy for her, lol. <laughs> it would have been such a fun mystery to uncover, though.